guys welcome to my channel and to today's video so if you are new to my channel this is a natural hair care channel and you are so welcome today's video we are going to be looking at shampoo formulation and i decided to come up with this series and this is also tailored to beginners who want to know how to formulate your own shampoo and this shampoo that i'm referring to is actually sulfate free natural shampoos and today that is what we're going to be concentrating on but this series i'm going to be breaking it into parts so i'm not i'm going to be coming out with other videos relating to this and because this is the beginning and this is the first video we are going to be looking at the basics in order to be able to formulate your own shampoo you would definitely need to know the types of shampoos on the market the types of shampoos and also the ingredients that are used to formulate the shampoos then you will also need to know how to make your own formulations in terms of the formula these shampoos are formulated to meet different hair cleansing requirements and so we have a lot of shampoos we have the clarifying shampoo we also have the conditioning shampoo we have co-wash shampoo, dandruff, and um, medicated shampoo. All these are different types of shampoos that you can find on the market. And these shampoos are formulated to either cleanse the hair, like deeply cleanse the hair, or provide that moisturizing um, balance or benefit to the hair. Now, I'm going to be taking each and every sh each shampoo and the details and the first one i'm going to be focusing on is the clarifying shampoo now the clarifying shampoo it's like the basic um formulation because clarifying shampoos do not really have other added ingredients for you to get a normal clarifying shampoo you only need a surfactant and water and some preservatives and then you are good to go so clarifying shampoos also do not really provide moisturizing benefits. What they do is to deeply cleanse the hair of any dirt. And so there are a lot of clarifying shampoos that you can find for natural hair. Clarifying shampoos that are formulated for natural hair usually contain mild surfactants that also are able to deeply cleanse the hair so they are not really stripping shampoos but they can really do the clarifying job and so one way to identify clarifying shampoo is to just um, look at the label on your shampoo when you buy it usually it is it either indicated as a deep cleansing shampoo sometimes they really write the clarifying shampoo and all that another way to identify a clarifying shampoo is to, is to notice the the way the shampoo looks so clarifying shampoos are really um really clear let me say transparent and that is how these kind of shampoos are that is another way to identify that they are clarifying shampoos and if you have a lot of buildup that needs to be like taken out of the hair clarifying shampoos can provide the best benefits however these kind of shampoos are, are not advised to be used on a daily basis because they provide this deep cleansing effect. Which brings me to the second type of shampoo on the market. That is the conditioning shampoo. Now conditioning shampoo sometimes are referred to as 21 shampoos. And this kind of shampoos are formulated to provide conditioning effects and also to mildly cleanse the hair so this these type of shampoos come in a creamy form they are much more creamy and also contain ingredients that are conditioning so you can see that usually these shampoos contain cationic surfactant and i would explain all of these surfactant stuff in my video dedicated for surfactants but for now these are surfactants that are conditioning and help really to condition the hair and also 
with detangling. So um, that is what the conditioning shampoos are for. And these shampoos can be used more frequently than the clarifying shampoo. Uh, there are a lot of conditioning shampoos on the market and also usually they are written on them as conditioning shampoo. If you check the product label, you can also see some conditioning ingredients like BTMS and other cationic surfactants in them. Now, another way to identify the conditioning shampoos are by the way they look, just like how the how transparent the clarifying shampoos are. These ones are rather creamy. So they are creamy in nature and they are not really transparent like how the other um, how the clarifying shampoo is and they are usually they also help in detangling hair so another type of shampoo that is on the market are um, co-wash shampoo these are not really shampoos but they are conditioners formulated to help remove product buildup from the hair so these shampoos usually contain conditioning ingredients and they also contain surfactants but the percentage of the surfactants in the conditioning in the co-wash are very low so most co-wash co do not really that that but they provide this um, mild cleansing effect that helps to remove product buildup and these are also for use in between wash days and also when you are going to restyle your hair and you feel like there's product buildup in it. These are what co-washes are for. These are usually written on them that this is a co-wash, like co-wash shampoo, co-wash treatment, co-wash whatever. Usually they are written on them that it's for co-wash. That is how you're able to identify these, um, this shampoo. Now the next shampoo that I'm also going to mention is the medicated shampoo. Now these medicated shampoos usually are tailored for dandruff treatment. Now these shampoos contain specific ingredients that help to treat dandruff. And because they are medicated shampoos, they are not supposed to be used every day. However, some of them are formulated in a two-in-one formula in a way that you can use them more frequently and that is how these shampoos are now my next and final shampoo that i would mention are moisturizing shampoo now moisturizing shampoos usually contain a lot of humectants so these shampoos can be can come in a clarifying nature not really clarifying and can come in also a conditioning nature so it's more like a balance in between those ones now this shampoo contain more humectants in them like the cholesterol, the panthenol these are ingredients that um, helps to moisturize the hair and also they have some oils in them so these are the moisturizing shampoos all these kinds of shampoos are formulated to help with different types of hair to cleanse different types of hair and also for different types of hair needs so some do provide deep cleansing others are mild some are very mild and just to remove product buildup now that we know about these types of shampoos next week i will come your way to discuss or to explain to you about the ingredients in the shampoos the major ingredients that are usually in the shampoos are surfactants so i'm going to be focusing on surfactants and also on some other ingredients that might be added to the surfactant and so i hope today's one was very informative if it was just give this video a thumbs up do share this video with other friends or other people out there that you feel like will find this video informative and then i'll come your way next week to continue with these sessions thanks a lot for being around and i'll see you same time next week until then bye